pause, we check away. Um, so effective stacks when we do get to this level here um, are, are basically very close to even, okay? We've got back a little bit, but, you know, they are pretty even, the stacks here on the right-hand side table now. Um, King 7 on a Queen, Queen 9 flop. Um, once again, it's another good flop to really just go ahead and see better. Same as the flop on the left-hand table. Um, I do actually elect to check it behind. And I have no reason whatsoever why I would go and check that flop behind. Okay? So I, I mentioned to you guys before that we had been going ahead and see betting wet boards. Okay? This, on the other hand, isn't, you know, it, to a degree, this Queen 9 of spades here um, are probably two of the worst, the, the lesser paired boards to go ahead and be barreling at. Um, because it does hit a lot of their middle cards, okay? So your Queen 9s, your Jack 10s, um, your Queen Jacks, your Queen 10s, 9 10s, okay? They're all basically going to be check calling on that board, okay? But can, given the dynamic, I think I made a mistake by not going ahead and see betting here because not only um, do we apply pressure on him to make a call on that flop, we also find out where he's actually at. And as much as I, I really do hate that saying, you know, betting for information, um, I don't think that it's necessarily right. Um, but when you add the element that you actually take down the pot a high percentage of the time, plus the other times when he does call, you get information a lot of the time as well. I think that it was advantageous to actually go ahead and see bet here. The turn card is a horrible one. Um, even though we pick up a gut shot, uh, it's really not a great card to even go ahead and bet at. Um, so I, okay, and he leads out and I do something ridiculously stupid and go ahead and raise him, okay. Um, on the right, I fire off a double, on the left, sorry, I go ahead and fire off a double barrel. I will be folding on the right hand table and I hope that I'm checking it down. Um, I check down on the left hand table and he shows me jacks. After I fire the second barrel at that board, there's absolutely no way that he's folding on that river. Okay, on a paired board with the ace there, there's no way that this guy's folding. If I did have an ace, I'd be pumping it for value. I may be overshoving it for value, um, but I'm absolutely not bluffing that board ever. 